Science 5, Quarter 2, Week 7, Milk Base. Let's learn about Interactions in Estuaries and Intertidal Zones. Hello kids, it's me, Teacher Frell. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frell TV. Welcome back kids! For today's lesson in Science 5, we will discuss about interactions in estuaries and intertidal zones. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to Discuss the interactions among living and non-living things in estuaries and intertidal zones. Life on Earth is a product of different interactions in a region or geographic area where both biotic factors such as plants, animals, and other organisms and a biotic factor like weather, temperature and humidity, and landscape, rocks, soil, etc. work together. This area is called ecosystem. Living things cannot sustain life without non-living things. For instance, a mangrove tree needs water and muddy soil to survive together with other life forms. This lesson will discuss the interactions of organisms to their physical environment. Specifically, this part of the module will give you different activities that will describe such interactions in estuaries and intertidal zones. What is estuaries? Estuaries are areas where salt water and fresh water meets, or what we call brackish water. Look at the picture. The salt water and the fresh water meets. Normally, running water in rivers goes into the sea. Water in estuaries is less salty. The measure of salt in water is called salinity. Thus, the estuaries have low salinity. The level of salt content of water affects the ability of the organism to survive. What is intertidal zone? Intertidal zones are area where the presence of water depends on the tides. During high tide, these are covered with water. Observe the illustration below. During low tide, the water diminishes and exposes the part of seabed area. This part of the sea can be sandy, rocky, or muddy depending on the presence of different materials. Now, let us do learning task 1. Organisms require energy to perform life activities. In this case, they need to eat food. Analyze the figure on the left side. Observe the pattern how organisms interact and get energy by eating. Fill in the blanks based on the figure. Number 1. Plankton may be eaten by... Very good! Plankton may be eaten by small fish, crab, mussels, and etc. Number 2. Heron eats Very good! Heron eats salmon and small fish. Number 3. Salmon eats very good! Salmon eats small fish and stonefly larva. Number 4. Shrimp may be eaten by Very good! Shrimp may be eaten by Salmon. And number 5. Freshwater mollusk. For example, snail may be eaten by very good! A snail may be eaten by 
salmon. For learning task 2, just like in estuaries, organisms in intertidal zones need energy to live through eating food. Analyze the figure on the right side. Observe the different organisms and imagine how they interact and get energy by eating. Fill in the blanks below based on the figure. Note, answer may not be in the illustration. Number 1. Hermit crab eats? Very good! Hermit crab eats? Seaweed, algae, rockweed. Number 2. Limpet may be eaten by? Very good! Limpet may be eaten by? Sea anemone. Number 3. Algae may be eaten by? Very good! Algae may be eaten by? Bird like herring gull. Number 4. Sea urchin eats? Very good! Sea urchin eats periwinkle, limpet, crab. Number 5. Chitons and limpets may be eaten by? Very good! Chitons and limpets may be eaten by? Bird, like herring gull and seagull. For learning task 3, in both estuary and intertidal zone, Organisms have different roles to perform. In this task, identify the organisms that perform the given roles. Choose the word or group of words in the box. Producers. They are organisms that produce food from sunlight and inorganic substances. The organisms are salt, marsh, grasses, algae, phytoplankton, Lichens, cyanobacteria, seaweeds. Next is the consumers. They are organisms that eat other organisms. The organisms are sea urchins, green crabs, mollusk, anemone, fish, shellfish. The third one is scavengers. They are organisms that eat food scraps and leftovers the organisms are marine snail small crab sand fleas next is decomposers they are organisms that break down into simpler materials the remains of dead organisms the organisms are diatoms fungi bacteria tube worms fiddlers detritus Feeders, seaweeds. For learning task 4, make a model of ecological or energy pyramid showing the arrangement of producers, consumers, scavengers, and decomposers. You may include the organisms that you answer in learning task 3. You may use scrap materials in making the 3D model of ecological pyramid. Here is the example of ecological pyramid. Remember, estuaries are areas where salt water and fresh water meets, or what we call brackish water. Intertidal zones are area where the presence of water depends on the tides. During high tide, these are covered with water. So kids, do you understand our lessons today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learned a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!